also want to ask uh, uh, Dr. Nikhil Kumar very simple question to you I think that, that a lot of the young audience has raised and, uh, and I'm so glad that they have because the big concern here or rather the biggest red flag perhaps is misinformation and fake news. Uh, how do you control what is being said? How do you fact check it? How do you tell people that look this is, this is absolutely wrong or this is one person's perception which is being sold as, as the fact? How do, you, how do you deal with misinformation and fake news? Yeah, thank you so much, Rishika, for inviting me here. So it's very difficult uh, to check the face, uh, fake news or misinformation or echo chamber effect in digital times in in Indian politics context. Actually, uh, a, uh, a government tried to curb the fake news by introducing the Intermediaries Act in India. But uh, what happens is that not only the BJP or, for example, any political parties, they don't take the fake news, but affiliated person, those people who are affiliated with these organizations or political party, they spread the fake news. So what happened in that case? So in that case, the election commission even don't take action. So uh, when we are talking about social media influencer, so in Indian context, still there are no rule and regulation. That's a very uh, disappointing things because mm. uh, it's very necessary uh, things to check on the social media right. platform or social media influencer activity because without this, you cannot control uh, like uh, what you can say that uh, a open space where mm. everyone will have everyone will have equal space.